Oh, welcome guys. Uh, this is Chip Masco, and uh, today we're going to learn on how to uh, use Adobe InDesign. So we're going to start this lesson by showing you how the interface of Adobe InDesign looks like. So this is Adobe InDesign. We have it looking like this way. So InDesign basically is used for what? That is the main question most of the people will ask. Adobe InDesign is used for uh, different designs. You can use Adobe InDesign to design business card. You can use Adobe InDesign to design ebooks. You can use it to design flyers. And also you can design, use it to design different templates such as logo design and uh, so much designs. Most of the people will ask, why not Photoshop? Adobe Photoshop is mostly used to edit images, text, and shapes. You can use Adobe Photoshop to edit text, images, and shape. And also, you can also import them to Adobe InDesign because they co-relate, they co-work, they co and uh, they can also uh, work towards each other whereby you can do some projects in Adobe Photoshop and bring them in Adobe InDesign when you're doing something so today in our Adobe InDesign we're going to show you how to set your dashboard or your working area so number one you can see this is the layout of Adobe InDesign before you open anything so we have create new this means that you're creating a new project open then this means you had already created projects and saved them maybe in your documents images or videos or somewhere so what you're going to do you're going to click here and open them directly from a folder where you've saved them so here we have recent recent means that the projects that you did recently so i did this one so if you did you did so many projects they will just align themselves here so you want to start creating a uh, creating a new working area so this is adobe in design 2019 so maybe you might find it different from cc cs6 or 2015 so but the usage and everything is just the same so you can create new project from here or go to file new document that is for a person who is trying to create a new working area so i will click on that and a window will open up as we can see this window we have recent the recent the recent frames that I've used we have saved the project that you just save in your computer we have prints these are different sizes of work or different sizes of papers that you might be interested to work with electronically then uh, we have legal we have letter we have tabloid we have letter half we have a4 a3 a b5 us business and compact disk then we have web so this one to the people who are making website you have a ready layout so you can just click them you know before with cs6 we used to insert shapes we used to uh give it uh, uh, our sizes when you're opening a working area so then we have mobile phone maybe if you're making mobile application mobile apps and mobile designs and things like that but for us today we're going to train you on how to use the InDesign through print so when we come here we will click on a4 size because that is what we want to start with this is a4 then after clicking a4 you will notice there are some changes this side then i will give it a name 
so the name i will give it maybe is nairobi nairobi that is the, the these are these are the details towards my uh, uh my dashboard so i want to give it detail the size width so width i will leave it that way but you can change the unit maybe you don't want to use pickers you can use points and it will change automatically to points you can use inches it will change to inches you can decide to use millimeters according to the people who love using ruler measurements and you can use centimeters ciseras agentas na pixels so you can decide but for us here in Nairobi maybe we can start using pixels then next we have orientation orientation we have landscape and we have portrait and landscape landscape means when you're using a four is the top bottom top bottom is uh, longer than left right width so we have top bottom but with the landscape it is a4 that is in a landscape form we have pages here with adobe in design you can set the number of pages that you want to use maybe we want to design a book with four pages so we'll put four this means that we have four pages then we have facing papers facing papers means that if you open a book a book has page one and page two so page two is facing page one so adobe indesign will create you these pages facing each other so we have four pages out of four pages let no let make it six so that you will understand in our next explanation then we have start this one start means that the first the number one page out of these six pages page one will be the front page page one will be the strong front page the start page is page one maybe when you are designing you've realized that page four should be page one you want to use page four as page one so you'll just insert page four and page four will come automatically as page one now me i want to put it page one facing pages as just said if you unlink it then the pages will go from top to down but if you click the button here the page if pages will just design themselves align themselves as books we have columns we don't want to use columns we'll just use it to be this way so we'll explain this in the next tutorial because we will be using it then we have margins of course with margins we have margins we have margin top bottom outside and inside there is the 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 the, 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 the reasons of why we put margins is that when you are designing a book for example you have designed a book margin is the size from top to here like for example we have this window here the margin is from here to here this is margin and uh, we will notice that when we put our margin to be 10 let us put it 15 pixels margins it will change to all the bottom outside and inside but when you unlink you can be able to put the sizes different sizes in these boxes then we have bleeds and slugs this is most where most of the people don't associate with so let me explain about bleeds when you're using bleeds you'll realize that it will only these are parts that are beyond margin after margin 
there are parts that when you're designing you'll design them but when you're going to print your project the machine will cut it down the machine will cut it down out the machine will cut it out and uh, you will realize that after cutting it out the papers or the the, the the bleed will not be in use so i will show you in our paper and uh, same to inside outside the baby is crying sorry for that so i will just give it slug don't use slug because slug is used with heavy mach heavy printout machines so with that designer we don't need to use flab uh, slugs because it is used with those people who are designing uh, heavy papers but for us we'll just do 10 and it will come to all so we will create it so you see we have the lead here this is the lead and this is the margin the distance from here to here is the margin then now we want to start now we said that we want to create a page with f a book with four pages so this is our page number one page number two page number three page number four page number five and page number six so this is going to be our first page then our last page then our four inner pages when you come on your right side you will click on the pages bar icon here then you will be able to see all your pages you have page one page two page three four five and six so you can be able to see whatever you're doing in these different pages so that is it for today